I will follow you, follow you wherever you may go. Just kidding, I'm not singing. What we're going to talk about right now is following content. And similar to how Twitter uses the feature, um, when you follow something, you get updates um, regarding it in SharePoint. And those go directly to your news feed. So on my Sites tab, like we talked about in the layout lesson, the Sites tab is like a bookmark page that shows you all the sites you're following. And you can see here that I'm following accounting, I'm following Biff's consulting agency. It's a top link, uh, top level site. Uh, I've got my uh, HD department or HR department. It should be, I mistyped that. Uh, I've got my IT department I'm following on my regular simplified SharePoint. That's not Biff's, that's not Biff's IT department, but you get the point. Any site you follow will show up in this list. So let me do a, a quick uh, little demo here. I've got a, a blog here. And if I start to follow this blog by clicking on the, up in the top right, you've got a follow link. If I click follow, it'll say you're already following the site. Anytime there's an update to that site, I will see it in my news feed. Okay. If I go to my activities, we should see, where is it? Well, it's not showing it. Uh, if I, I'm following the accounts receivable department, and earlier I posted on the accounts receivable, get ready for first quarter 2014. That showed up in my news feed because I'm following accounting. Get ready for first quarter 2014. It shows up under Matt St. Lawrence accounts receivable. It's showing what is posted there. Okay. The other thing you can follow, it's not just sites, you can follow people. Right now I'm following my friend Charles Nasio. He doesn't really use the news feed, so I can't see much there. But anything he posts would show up in my following list. If I follow documents out of my SkyDrive, I can go to my SkyDrive and I'll just say I'll follow this document. Under sites, I'm sorry, under news feed, we could see that I'm following that document. I can click on this link right here for documents and it'll say, hey, there's the tracks. Okay. It'll also suggest documents for you to follow. So here's some training curriculum I could follow. Here's the end user training curriculum. So following content gives you updates and lets you quickly access it through your newsfeed page, what you're following. Uh, for instance, if I want to follow the SharePoint tag, click on that about the SharePoint tag. It'll show every person that has used that tag and I could follow the tag. And anytime somebody uses it, I'll get a notification here uh, in my news feed and I'll also be able to access it here. So you can, <clears throat> you can follow a lot of stuff in SharePoint. It's a pretty simple concept. Um, and it's, it's pretty useful because one of the biggest complaints we used to get from users when we deploy a site is, I don't know how to get to here, or it's too hard to get here. I can't find these documents. I use them all the time, and it's such a pain to have to go find it each time I need to open it and use it. Well, now, all the users have to do is go to their news feed. So if they're going to complain about something, that's the, well, they're not. They're not going to complain about just going to their news feed, and then they can quickly go to the documents that they're following, and they can quickly access it. And then there it is for all the world to see. So the following content is a pretty cool feature that, that is pretty essential to the whole SharePoint machine. So that's following content. I hope I made that a little, little more um, easy to understand. Be sure to check out our next lesson and have a good one.